before you go, I wanted to ask you about one of my friends, Bevelyn Williams. She was sentenced to three and a half years in prison. And it's obviously a political persecution as well. She's an individual who's a very outspoken activist. Uh, they accused her of blocking an abortion clinic entranceway. Uh, sadly, today, she's turning herself into federal prison. Three and a half years, three and a half years in prison. Uh, she's being pulled away from her two young children and her husband right now. Uh, it's horrifying to watch as somebody who knows her. Uh, but what's your take on all of this? Because, again, they're targeting a woman, and it took them two years after the protests even took place. It was when Roe, the decision by the Supreme Court, came down. That's when the DOJ launched its investigation into Bev. So it's clear that it's politically motivated, but three and a half years in prison. Mike, what's your reaction to this? This is absolutely outrageous. This is on Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Merrick Garland, the attorney general, and Lisa Monaco, the deputy attorney general, and most particularly Kristen Clark, the assistant attorney general for civil rights. They have politicized and weaponized the Federal FACE Act to go after pro-life Christians and persecute them, whether it's this a black woman who's going to prison for three and a half years. I thought the, the Biden-Kamala Justice Department uh, didn't want to persecute black people unless, of course, they're pro-life Christians. They put a 75-year-old Christian in prison, prison under the FACE Act. They put a priest in prison under the FACE Act while they give amnesty to these abortion industry activists from Planned Parenthood and trans terrorists who are terrorizing Catholic churches and crisis pregnancy centers. There must be an investigation about this, uh, this weaponization of the FACE Act the day that President Trump is back in office. Yes, yes, and, and we hope you're a part of that investigation because we need all the hands on deck. You understand it better than anyone. So Mike Davis, thank you for your time. We appreciate it as always. Thank you.